Hi, jazz fans. Uh, today's uh, installment is going to be about writing for a little bit bigger brass section. Uh, talking about five trumpets and four trombones. I don't normally do this. My band only has uh, four trumpets and three trombones, but sometimes I'm hired by other bands to write for uh, something that's a little more extended, which is fun. Um, so we're going to add uh, an extra trumpet to what we did last time and uh, an extra trombone, but it's going to be a bass trombone. What do you need to know about the bass trombone? Well, it's um, it, you, it's got a bigger bore, so uh, it's got a fatter sound, and it's got all these extra notes at the bottom that the tenor trombones can't play. Uh, I generally don't write the uh, the trombones in unison with the bass trombone. I'll have the tenor trombones in unison, and either leave the bass trombone out or have them an octave below the. The, the tenors, because if he's in the same register with the tenors, um, he'll darken up the sound, and uh, for, usually that's uh, uh, not going to help the situation. Uh, we like a lot of times we like the tenor, the tenor trombone's brightness. So um, here's a, a a section from um, a piece of mine called Marlowe. This is uh, called El Barrio. And we'll get a Latin groove going. So the bass trombone is going to play the bass line by himself. Um, and he gets that kind of groove going. And the other trombones are going to answer with a pyramid kind of effect. Uh, they're in fourths, right? Right? Mm. So it's kind of like the fourth, the G from the bottom now is on the top. Got that G, put it upstairs. Okay, so uh, let's listen to that in, in context. Here's the next section in El Barrio. The, the trombones are going to come in with the uh, unison uh, melodic figure. Uh, notice that the that the uh, bass trombone is resting. It's okay. Uh, we like we like to write rests for the brass players. It gives their the the blood in their you know to, to, they get blood back into their chops, which they need uh, in order to uh, play their instruments correctly. They they like rest. <laughs> Our next uh, example is, um, this is in a bit of an older style. Um, uh, Nelson Riddle uh, made this popular in the, in the 50s and 60s, uh, especially records for Frank Sinatra. Um, but he also did a lot of things for Nat Cole and a lot of other people. So the, here the bass trombone is again independent. And uh, so let me play the intro from uh, the chart I wrote on Comes Love. So what's happening here? The bass trombone has the bass line. It's a nice little vamp for the for, for him. He's in his low register. And then the other trombones are voiced uh, a tritone and a fourth above that. So that's an F minor uh, six nine chord. And then to an A flat 13, it's the same voicing, but down a minor third. So now it's on the A flat 13. Down a half step, so now it becomes a D flat, D flat seven with a sharp nine, and then down another half step. Okay. Um, that's gonna repeat a few times, and then at the end, I'm gonna have the trumpets answer them. And then the trumpets come in with this. So what I've done there is the uh, 
we're in the key of F minor, so the first trumpet has a C, which is the, uh, the dominant, and so it's gonna be a C7 of some sort. So it's a drop two voicing with a sharp five, and then I've got five trumpets, so I've got this extra guy, so I'm gonna give him the sharp nine, so he can rub against the third. Okay, let's listen to this in context. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.